Hi, I'm Brandy. And I'm Emma. And this is b and &E Stitchery. Welcome. It's our second floss tube. We're super excited to be here and we are gonna just give a little life update first. I know not everybody loves sharing personal information on their floss tubes, but we like it when people share about themselves, so we're gonna share about ourselves. Yeah. So today was a very exciting day. It was a, a super exciting day. <laughs> I found my wedding dress! <laughs> <laughs> like, so fast, too. Like, I Literally. was not expecting it. No. So we had a stitchy day yesterday with a bunch of our friends, and um, Nicole mentioned, oh, did you know Dreams Bridal is having a closeout sale because they're closing in Augusta? And we were like, okay, we're going wedding dress shopping tomorrow. Yeah, and we totally thought we had more time, too. Like, Literally. I didn't realize that it was closing today. Like, like today was the last, last day. Last day ever. And so I called them, and I wanted to make sure that they, like, still had a good selection and that, like, people would be there. You know, like, I didn't know the rules, whatever. So I called, and they were like, oh, yeah, we still have 200 dresses left, whatever. Come on in. They did not have 200 wedding dresses. Yeah, it was, Because they had, like, like, prom dresses prom and dresses bridesmaids. Prom dresses and mothers yeah. of the bride and all of that. So they, they still had a selection, but... Yeah, and, like, I was impressed, too, because they had, like, size 16, 18, 20 dresses. And, I yeah. like, that's what I was scared about is, like... You what if they only have, size. like, size four dresses and right. I can't even dry them on? Right. So, but I found the dress, so we're going to show a couple pictures. That are not the dress. That are not the ones that we got. But it I was fun. It, I had fun. And for it being, like, literally last minute, like, my Nana came and her two sisters, my aunts, and my cousin Ari, and yeah. it was fun, and I found the dress, and I'm still just, like... And she got... It fifty percent off. Yeah, like so. You we're know, excited. Yeah, we're very excited. And we have been looking at different veils uh, and accessories. Yeah. And I'm so. thinking I want a belt. I don't know. I haven't decided. Yeah, <laughs> but so, it'll be fun. But I mean, still, you have eighteen months before you're getting married. I'm so getting married in October of 2024, so I still have a lot of time. But she she picked a beautiful dress. So, anything, do you have any life updates since the last time? No, not really. I no. mean, my husband and I went out for his birthday last night, yeah. and yeah. Um, Valentine's Day, he got me a couple of presents that I'll show In that he hell. got me. <laughs> he was so excited that we were doing a floss tube. He, like, he's, messaged. Okay, but he's always said, because we've, I was, grew up as a YouTube kid, like, we didn't have cable TV, so we watched YouTube, and he was always like, you girls should start a YouTube channel, and here we are, like, Five years I later, know. He finally messaged doing it. All his aunts and his sisters, and yeah. said, "You have to watch this Which, show." I should say, I'm sorry that I didn't tell you guys personally that I got engaged. I did post it on my Facebook, though. <laughs> That's not a telling people. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but hello to our family from all the way in California. Yeah, it's fun. We are having fun doing this, and we want to give a thank you to everybody. 4,000 views, like we have 4,100 views at the time that we're filming this and like from the bottom of our hearts, thank you. <laughs> I, I could, I, I, yeah. I'm yeah. speechless <laughs> Literally. That, that, that many people watched us and that everybody has been so positive. So positive. And like giving us advice and w the people that reached out to me about my winter You're rose winning, manner, yeah. like I feel so much better about yeah. it now that I can actually maybe fix it. Yeah. Not even that I have fixed she hasn't it. even touched I yet. haven't but now I feel like I can yeah. you know and that it's yeah. not the end of the world and mm -hmm. that I'm not gonna have to start it over and that yeah. you know I just I'm pretty happy about mm -hmm. that and everybody gave me really good advice yeah. and I have a couple of different things I'm gonna try I had tried sewing it together before mm -hmm. and it just didn't look good it was a little bumpy yeah. it, that could be the way I sew too, yeah. you know, but, um, I, I have some options and, um, somebody else mentioned a different way to rip out that I had never thought of is just cutting the threads and then tearing. Mm -hmm. Cause what I've always done is I've either stitched it from behind, behind like, like pulled it, unstitched yeah. it, or I have cut it and then undone it like with ripped. my needle. Yeah. And I bought that on Picker from the Fat Quarter Shop, which I'm sure is a really good cool tool, but I stabbed a hole right in it. So you I, picked it too high. I picked it too high. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Um, we will address our change of location too. Yeah. Sorry, I know a lot of some people don't like when people switch change like switch locations, but it just worked out for us to film at my apartment. Yeah, we so. went wedding dress shopping today. You were supposed to come up to my house, and I live like forty five yeah. minutes to an hour away from, from where I live. And so we went wedding dress shopping, which is another forty five minutes away. So it just didn't make sense for her to come all like the way the back up. Yeah. So we're filming at Emma's house. <laughs> well, it's not the house, it's an apartment. My tiny 600 square foot apartment. <laughs> <laughs> you can see how tiny my kitchen is. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. So, let's get into our whips. Yeah. You want to go first? Sure. Well, we're going to show our bushel and a oh, pack together. first, which is what we're doing as a together sow. Oh, I didn't take it out of the key snap. <laughs> That's okay. I'm going to have to. Sorry. Oh! <laughs> I found it! I know. <laughs> I asked you to find a, that yesterday. She made me a cute little thread bed, which matches... The project bag that she made me and I it was my first one and it's a little it. janky it's like not, this is good like <laughs> I'm sorry what so the interfacing that I have is not thick enough and I didn't use two which I would use next time but it's your first one you ever yeah made. And, and you didn't have the, a pattern right I didn't I just made it up so I mean come on <laughs> <laughs> but the mitering is not very you know you're your own worst critic and yeah. I've got to stop doing that about pointing out my flaws you do because and I look do it good. all the time but you know I'll get better at these I think and um Kathy showed me uh an interfacing that's super stiff. Mm -hmm. I thought this was the stiffest that they made. Yeah. Because it was like the home decor. It says extra thick. This is like, it's still really yeah, but thin. But if you did two layers. If I did two layers, it might be okay. But the stuff that Kathy had was like. Yeah. R rugged. I will also apologize that we didn't iron anything. I don't Emma own an iron. Emma doesn't iron. <laughs> Where am I going to keep it in my 600 square foot apartment? <laughs> it's like the theme of my life. I buy things and I'm like. Okay, now where am I going to put it? <laughs> like my Christmas decor that I still have out because I don't have storage for it. <laughs> okay, this is my progress on bushel and a peck this way. Um, last time we, I had just, whoop, I had just done this little area here. So I've done, oh my gosh, I should just look here. I've done all of this and I did these branches and then I love you. But you'll see later that I have been... I swear to God, I'm a mono stitcher at heart because I just get in these zones and I just want to work on one thing. So I didn't touch this very much compared to what I did before, but I love I it. I don't know. you. I think you've made some good progress because yeah. I haven't made that much more. I meant to bring a board. Oh, yeah. Um, so Somebody next was time saying that, but... I will bring a board. But this is my progress. And last time I had only done... <sighs> Basically the same thing. Yeah, well, a little less than you. Yeah. So I, you I've made some, me. <laughs> <laughs> some pretty good progress on this. Yeah. I'm stitching this on 18 count mystery linen. I don't know. One of my friends gave me some 18 count, and I love stitching on 18. I just love the way my stitches lay flat. Mm -hmm. uh, like I've said before, I'm a sewer, so my stitches are a little raised because I'm going in from the side. But I just love that it lays flat, and I just like the look of it better. Yeah. And I mean, if you can see the size difference, I'm doing mine too. on 14 count, just white. Ada. So yeah, it's kind of cool. Yeah, the size I like difference. It. Very cool. But love this, and love that Shelly oh, commented Shelly. on our. Uh, oh, I was fan plus tube. I was, I was like, can you even? she mentioned it and she definitely she texted is me the, and was like did you see <laughs> this is the inspiration for why we're doing this exactly and that's exactly. another thing that I'd like to say is I love to hear about why people stitch what they stitch it's and so what makes them drawn to certain patterns mm -hmm. and yeah I, I think that's why I watch floss tube is because yeah. I'm like Oh, that has significant Like, I would have or, never chosen that for myself, but you're doing such a good job. Right, and, or yeah. it's so beautiful. Like, yeah. just, I mean, and everybody says, when you see the model or you see it stitched. Yeah. And it's true. And When you look at things. Yeah. And sometimes I like looking, like, at the, pro like, I enjoy <laughs> watching the mm. progress of people, like, oh, look, she's oh, doing so good I on know. that, you know, cheering them on. I, lo I love to see what, and yeah. even, you know, just us. 
or, yeah. or, or mm -hmm. you know, we've gone to a stitching thing. Oh my God. Every week this <laughs> Since week. Since we filmed, we had a stitching thing in Auburn, and then we had a stitching thing in Augusta, and, and then we yesterday had a, we yesterday had one yesterday in, we Farmington. Had in Farmington. <laughs> Every Saturday, and you know what? I'm not complaining. I'm, I'm not either. It's fun. like a mini retreat. It's, it's so fun. It's, and you just get the energy and you, and you people, see and yeah and you see what everybody else is doing and why they're doing it and what they like and what they've tried mm -hmm. and what works for that i just i love to hear it all yeah it's so. it's really fun and everybody's different styles mm -hmm. it's a lot of fun yeah so do you want to go i know you have more whips than me so do you want to start or do you want me to go you go ahead okay i went first last time okay <laughs> so i'm not taking this out of the q-snap because you can see my progress on this stamped piece in the q-snap Last time I had about to where this yellow guy ended. So I finished all this tail and I've backstitched around the tail. I still need to do all of the stripes, stripes which I'm avoiding. <laughs> but, and I only work on this piece like during Bruins games that I like, I still want to cross stitch, but I don't want to have to pay attention. Oh, you didn't mention so, that you went to a Bruins game. That's a life update. <laughs> <laughs> I went to a Bruins game. I got this shirt because this is a new player, Lynn Tong, 27. Big fan. Um, yeah, they played the Capitals. So we got to see the great Alex Alexander Ovechkin, which I don't know if anybody here is hockey fans, but big hockey fan. Um, so we went to the game. We sat fourth row. Could basically touch them. <laughs> it was fun. It's um, awesome. Okay, speaking of hockey, I didn't do much progress on this guy, but I we'll show it well anyways. Um, I worked on this during our stitchy day. My needle's missing somewhere in the bag, but um, I worked on this in our stitchy day in Auburn, and then that's the only time I touched it. So, just a little bit of progress. I know I'm sorry about the glare, yeah, but I have that you can stick behind it if you want ta-da that's it <laughs> so and once I get I don't love the way the pattern turned out but cut I made it myself remember that just from a picture from the internet so there's a lot of like confetti like random stitches of random colors but once I get through like that section there is like a lot fill of fill in of yeah. like one color. Three, Which three, seven, I one. love to <laughs> fill in. Yeah, and it's a great like to bring to a stitchy day cuz mm -hmm. you don't want to have to like mess up count and, and unstitch and Yes. Okay, my next whip. Oh my gosh, which I love so much. It's a saff, a start and almost finish <laughs> since our last a saff. A, a, a saff. <laughs> So this is, um, which was one of my five patterns in the one that we talked about last time. I ended up purchasing it, and I was like, okay, I'm just going to stitch it. And here it is. Ta-da! This is the Wizard of Oz pattern by The Little Stitcher on Etsy. And I'm doing this on 16 count, not, not another, another sampler, sampler by Be Stitch, Stitch Me. And I'm just using all the called for DMC on this. And I have, there's no pla. <laughs> <laughs> there's no pla. I was stitching it this because I really wanted to finish this before our floss too. But it happens. You're so close. Like I know, all you I'm have so is the close. place like home and then the. There's another border like this yeah. one oh. below. So I'm very close. And I probably will finish it either it tonight or is this week. Beautiful. I love how it's turned out. And I'm going to frame it, I believe. I'm not. I think I want to frame it. I think you should frame it just because of who you're giving it to. Yeah. You definitely should frame it. And so I was working on this yesterday at our stitchy day and I finished the cowardly lion and I started <laughs> the yellow brick road and I was bragging and you know, you should never do that. I said, Oh yeah, you got your <laughs> just desserts. <laughs> I was like, you guys, I'm so proud. I have not made a single mistake and everybody looked at me like, you yeah, it You're was not like done the, yet. It was the kiss of death because she was like, "Oh no!" <laughs> Literally, like out, maybe thirty minutes after I said that, I was like three quarters of the way. Well, not three quarters. I was probably like halfway through the yellow brick road, and I was like, "I messed up." <laughs> I started it one stitch over, but it all worked out. Like it, you can't, you can't tell. And nobody ever knows unless you tell them, mm -hmm. and that's. What we have to stop doing is telling everybody. Our mistakes, I know. Yes. And so I have my floss on these Adam Hart cross stitch floss chips, which I'll show more in my haul, but obsessed and I will never use anything different. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you, this is what I was going to tell you in the car and I was like, oh, I'll save it for a floss too. 
<laughs> so for these floss chips, I was like, oh, I don't think I should put more than one, like six, this is another thing we differ on, one strand of six, and then I'll go from there. If I need to pull more, I'll pull more. So this yellow color that's in the, the dandelions and the yellow brick road, I was stitching this and I could tell I was like four more bricks left and I was like, oh no. You and I didn't have, hole. I didn't have any more on here. I had to pull a whole, I got all the way to the end. I had one brick. I couldn't play fried chicken anymore. I lost. <laughs> I lost. So I had to pull a whole strand. My strand was like this long because I was like, I'm not gonna um, pull a giant one, but I was so also so mad. <laughs> about thread chicken. Emma likes to send me text messages <laughs> of the smallest ort that she has. And I you need to insert a picture <laughs> of the it smallest was ort ever. <laughs> it was tiny. It was when I was working on the scarecrow and it was tiny. <laughs> you could see. But it was awesome. It was very tiny. But so I That's how my lips um have been on the floss ring wagon as well because I really loved being able I used to just bobbinate everything. So and she didn't know the pull one strand I didn't. off that until I Which, taught her. Well, yeah, you taught that yeah. to me. This mine is such a mess right now. Mm -hmm. But I made these out of um cardstock. Cardstock. And I bought a tag punch and I bought a little mini hole punch. And I it's not thick thick. Mm -hmm. So I have to be really careful when I pull. I just have to hold here yeah. and then pull because I have pulled it off. Mm -hmm. But it's so much easier. And I take three threads mm -hmm. and, and do them. I use my floss winder. But this is all my colors for Pushoma Pack. They're a little messy, but Whatever. it's... It's just more convenient so than the bobbins. If you want to do that, she's using 65 pound paper. Yeah. We felt 110 pound paper. Which would be better. That's what you want. Yeah. If you're going to do this, 110 pound paper I is just what like you want. I the pretty paper because yeah, it's prettier. <laughs> we found the 110 and we it's were like, just, this is yeah. what you need, but they only had like plain colors. Plain. There's no Yeah. Pattern. We found it at Michael's, I think is where Michaels. we found yeah. it. But Hobby Lobby has the 65, and that's where I ended up getting the cutesy, the, the cutesy paper, which is cute, but I just have to be more careful yeah. when I when I pull and, and mm -hmm. whatever. But it didn't take me very long to make these. No. I cut it at two inches, and then I cut it at three inches, and I poked the tag, and then I poked the hole, and... It's, yeah. It's, it's just easy. You didn't have the tag punch, though. Cause yeah. It's, it's like a little... I mean, everybody knows what a tag punch right. is. Right. It just makes the top hole. And yeah. And then I have one that makes like the bottom hole. Like a hole puncher, but for yep. the tag shape. Yep. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. So I made those for my bushel in a pack, but this is like what I normally do um, for my threads. This is such a mess right now. That is a mess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm showing you my mess, but this is what I have my celebrations on. And each month has different colors, so like I just have a bag full of bobbins, and I, and I'll probably just keep this like this until I'm done with this project. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna yeah. do a floss ring, but as I start new projects, I'll do floss rings for them. I haven't made much project progress on these. Um, oh, yeah. I did the six and six with mm -hmm. the Stitcher Stash 2023, which is hosted by the fanciful flamingo Alicia. We love Hi, her. Hello. <laughs> she was hilarious. She, that comment. She, she gave us a shout out in her um, floss tube. <laughs> Every time she, we talk about Hall, now we look at each other. She just about had a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> we love to laugh and about it. And she thought my Hall was modest. And I was like, thank you. Okay, but I will say I was only having a stroke because she was preaching to me that she wasn't going to buy anything. I don't know why you listen. You don't listen to me any other time. And this is the time <laughs> you choose to listen to me. So this is the progress that I've made on my celebrations for but March. this is a start. You hadn't started this. I had. Yeah, oh, I had you did? started it last time. I finished the four leaf clovers and I started the thing. I really need to get to work on this, but what's this fabric? You are gonna notice that I am squirreling a lot. Yeah, oh, she's been squirreling this month. This is just from the Artiste brand from yeah. Hobby Lobby. It's like natural or rustico or something like yeah. that. So it's you know, but I had to buy four of them because it's twelve little squares. Do you have the pattern? Of what that's gonna look like? Yes. Oops. We should show that. I should probably show that, huh? 
I like that bag. Thank you. I made this one. Oh, you made it's that one? It's a vinyl one. Yep. <laughs> Show my vinyl. Um, this is the the celebration charts. I'm sure everybody's seen them. This is the second one. Emma was looking at the first one. You thought that the first one is more cutesy. This is yeah. more, um, I don't think it's prim. I think it's just prim, more like classic. not totally holiday, like yeah. scream in your face holiday, which I think I the think other I one. I like. I the like first the one. cutesy, mm -hmm. like the cartoony. I like I, that. I think it's cute, mm -hmm. but I just liked these patterns better. Although, when we talk about, we're going to talk about um, Nashville Market and give our five. I never thought I'd be a sampler girl, but whoa, there were some that I really liked. The, yeah, there's a lot. Yeah. So, I um, worked on my, I need to get my patterns out, sorry. Here, I'll unfold this. Yes, you please. Yes, please. This is my Halloween Quaker. I didn't get a whole lot done on it. I only worked on it for an hour because with the six and six, you oh, only got loose threads in here. work on it for an hour. Yeah, well, you gotta be careful. Here, you hold these and I'll <laughs> hold the thing up. So the only thing that I got done on this, if you pull it up, is the trick or treat and I finished the little skeleton <laughs> <tubes>. <laughs> backwards. Skeletons oh, cool. and the trick or treats. So that's the only thing I got accomplished. But I only, like I said, I only stitched on this for an hour. So. Oh my god, I'm sucking at this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's not easy. Yeah. And then I have my For Love of Nature. And this is the pattern. <laughs> this is go. hard. <laughs> I think it's harder. Last time you just made me do anything. I know. Well, I should just do that. You could be my Vanna. I'll be your Vanna. And the only thing that I got done on this one was a little tree. Right this, there. She also only did during her six Yeah, six. I only did this for an hour. It's just so I just did that tree. That's all I got. But I will say, when we talk about our plans, this is my focus piece for March because She's I don't. so close. I am so close and I don't want this to go for a whole year. I mean, I started this in May. I don't, I you really gotta don't, get it I don't want it to go for a whole year. But I mean, like some people have whips from, I, I know. I saw a comment on our Vacation Land Stitchers about talking about oldest whips, which oh. is a Facebook. Someone was <laughs> like, I have one from the eighties. <laughs> like I was like, so another person made a comment about how I don't have very many old whips. Well, I just started stitching again about a year ago. I've stitched since I was 12 but off and on and I did like the cutesy little frames that you used to be able to right. buy at Ames and I did the dement <laughs> it's, it's a store that doesn't even exist anymore it's kind of like a Walmart right. but um you know I did all that stuff and then I did the dimensions things but I never finished it because I used to get just so frustrated with yeah. it and I didn't think that I could fudge things and now that I realize that I it's my stuff and I can do what I want I'm like I can do, do what, what I want, want. <laughs> so I do this is my fancy lady February that I started, and I have done quite a bit on her. Nora Corbett. Yes, um, this is the Bewitching Pixie, Pixies, it's called. And uh, oh, you even got some of the skin done. I did. You? So I have to finish her hair and do her hat, and then I'm done with the black, and then I have to back stitch the other part of the um, vines. The vines here. But then I can start filling in on her dress. And this is a start since this our is last. a start since our last floss yeah. tube. And look at how far so she's So I've done it I've done quite so a bit. Good. And so I love the way the, it's looking on this fabric. I know it was a great choice. And I have a purple spider web fabric that I'm gonna do a flat fold with <gasps> this because it's gonna have beads in it, and I don't want to put it in a frame. No, no. So anyway, um, I. I'm gonna work on this for the rest of February. This yeah. is I'm gonna focus on this for the rest of February, so Which I can get more, more week. I know, so I can get more <laughs> progress in on it anyway. Yeah. So those are my whips. Finishes. So I have two sacks that I did. A start um, and finish. If you're oh, not I don't have go. the pattern. Oh yeah. I guess she's a pattern doesn't... passer. So we were at our stitchy day when she finished these, and she was like, "Does anybody want these?" <laughs> Well, I but mean, you don't if I'm never finished. gonna stitch it again, then I don't, I don't feel the need to keep it. This is, 
This is um, from Hands On Designs. It's called Life Needs More Chocolate Bunnies, or I think the pattern's actually called More Chocolate Bunnies. And this it, is- It's not completely finished though, because you still need the tails. Oh, right. Yeah. I, you can't find the buttons for these right now, for the tails. Mm -hmm. I, I actually sent a message on Just Another Button Company, which is where it was, to see if they had any more of them. And they don't. They said that I could buy a 2 16th white or a 3 16th white off their website. But I had the idea of getting some of the whisper thread, which is like mm -hmm. fluffy. Yeah. So I thought I, I would stitch a little fluffy tail I think for be them. better than a button. Yeah, I, I like think texture. so too. Yeah. So I'm, I think I'm going to try to get some of the whisper, like, because I need to, another reason to place an order. <laughs> And things can't travel alone, so you right. have to get something else. So that was part of a stitch along, mm -hmm. and uh, she had it. You know, week one you do the bunnies. Week well, I just stitched the whole thing because I couldn't stop. <laughs> it was fun. That was on a piece of fourteen count Artis brand mist, so I really liked that. And then. This is what everybody and their mother has been stitching on. The Strawberry Fair by October, um, October House? October, I don't know. I oh do no. It. And we don't have the pattern, so. And I don't have the pattern because I passed it yesterday. <laughs> so I have got to back stitch the bird, I think. I don't know. And this Looking at it on bad. camera, it looks way better. The I used beautiful beige, and I wish I had of, with all of these beautiful bright colors, I yeah. wish that I had of used lighter. a whiter fabric. And I don't normally lend towards white or light fabrics because your white never shows up on it. But this pattern doesn't have any white, so I don't know what I was thinking. What were you thinking? What was I thinking? <laughs> I wish I had of done it on it. But I'm going to do this as a pillow, I think. I think you should pillow it. Yeah. Are you going to do the honey fair? I love the honey fair. That's it's a Nashville So network. It's so cute. Yeah. I like it. So I, I don't know, probably, maybe, but that will be a pillow for my dole. Well, I don't have a, I have one doable and two tiered trays. So the, the one tiered tray I have upstairs in my craft room, I keep out all year long. Um, even if it's, uh, a holiday piece or whatever so I probably will just keep that in my craft room yeah. doble but I I need more to fill it because yeah. I I only have she a couple of things. things yeah just smalls you know yeah okay what's next I haul? haul haul first we should do our announcement sure okay our plans we'll do our plans plans so we have decided that we want to start a stitch along Yay. and we're gonna kind of, it's kind of it might be a start along we don't judge <laughs> it but, doesn't matter i mean we want everybody that's the that's the fun of stitching along exactly. is that y'all get to y'all where, where did i come from that? that i know you all get to uh <laughs> stitch with us so we're going to do the blue flower bee, Sal. I think that's what we decided to do our hashtag. It might be blue flower bee, blue flower bees. I can't remember. I'll post the insert picture. Uh, we're going to have it on our Instagrams too. Yeah. We're going to start this March 5th and we're not going to do a schedule of like finish this on this day. because no. We're going to have you select whichever bee you want to stitch. Right. So we're going to do the blue flower bees. And if you look on her website, you can kind of see there's three B patterns. And you can also download them, I believe. Yes, she does have PDFs too. So I'm going to be stitching the sleeping bee, and my mom's going to be stitching the quilting bee. And then there's another one that's like a small, and it's called the Tudor bee. Yeah, so it's so like a queen bee. If you only have time to stitch, or if you only want to stitch a small, feel free to do the Tudor bee. If you want a bigger piece, the quilting bee is the bigger of the three. But this... Um, it's 151 by 151, so it's not that crazy It's not big. huge. No. And I'm going to be stitching mine with all the called, f well, I can't say that, because it says threads used are all like Weeks Dye Works and Color and Cotton and stuff, and I have not ventured into the Fancy Floss land yet, but I think this might be where I'm going to. Because, I think you have to. Yeah. I'm going to use DMC for everything, because I've already bought all the DMC, for every, well, I only had to buy four yeah. because I had a lot of them already. But if you can see in the pattern, um, the wings are variegated 
and I really like the looks of that, so I think I'm gonna... Well, I'm gonna be placing a one, two, three stitch order for the Whisper Floss, so if you need me to order you a... Uh, <laughs> yeah, but you're gonna have to bend them on me, because it's getting a little like, ridiculous. <laughs> okay, but you... I offer, I know. You offer, and you're like... Speaking <laughs> of offering, why don't you show the fabric that I did? Should we tell the story of what you yes, did to me? Yes, we have to, because I... I was... Livid. I wasn't livid. But you were I was so sad. Mad. I was sad because okay. it's hard fabric to come by so that I, I cut. I was saying that I needed to buy a piece of fabric for this and that like I wanted to have something like I don't have, like whatever. And my mom was like, Oh, well let's look at my sixteen count stash and you Because can pick I'm there. not a huge sixteen count mm -hmm. stitcher and I anymore. Like, it. like I've I wanna do eighteen and twenty mm -hmm. because I like the way the thread looks. And you like it. I you like, like the, the two threads. Yeah, and I love two threads. Yeah, so I was like, well, you can have some of mine. Well, I had a lovely piece of Covered Luminous Bridge Fiber and Arts. Fiber Arts, and I did the cross stitch calculator, whatever, mm -hmm. for 151 by 151, but I forgot to put the border width. So, so I cut I, it 10 by 10, and I'm sewing it for her. I'm, I'm zigzagging the edges for her. And, and she goes, like, oh no, this is all on FaceTime. Oh no, don't hate me. <laughs> don't hate me. <laughs> and I, I hated you for a little while. <laughs> you got over it real fast though. So yeah, I'm not using Covered Bridge now. <laughs> this is, I s I'm so bad at remembering I names. can't believe you're this bad. I'm so Lambs bad. Will. Lambs will buy. Witchelt. Witchelt. And it's on Ada. I, I don't, I can't do linen. I'm not. Yeah, linen. we're not linen we're stitchers not linen anyway. Stitchers. So if we ever forget to say that, it's Ada. <laughs> yeah, all of it's Ada. So I'm Although I this. do stitch on Lugana. Yes, yes. So I don't know what I want to do. Oh, um, my bag is from Melanie Henson on um, the Stash Unload. Her bag's are stinking adorable. Uh -huh. I'm not a huge vinyl person. I don't really like the vinyl, but she includes these little beads with them and she's super affordable and they're way better made than I can make. So. She poo-poos on her I know, and I know. I hate it because you're so good. I I know. I need to stop. So I have three choices. I thought for... we decided last night. Did we? Oh. Well, you can't remember the names of things, and I forgot that we decided, so. <laughs> uh, which one did we decide? Do you remember? I thought it was this pinky one. No, you told me not to do that because there was a uh, no. gray in the... Um... But that's not gray. Oh, see, we can't do things over FaceTime because the colors don't well, look the same. Well, that's I know. You shouldn't choose your things. Because she held this up on FaceTime, and it looked like gray. That's that nougat stone that I bought. Yeah. It's it is stone kind of gray. gray. Yeah. But, like, in person, this does not look very gray. But I'm afraid, see that purpley color? It might be. That's way darker. Yeah. I'm, up to you. No, I'm asking I your like opinion. <laughs> so you like, so this is 18 count and I'd rather stitch on 18 count. Yeah. And it will give it something different. And then mm -hmm. I think the gray will look good on that. Yeah. And then I have a piece of Boston Tea Party. That's 16 count. That's 16 count. And then I have a piece of 18 count um, platinum. Yeah, that's too light. You think it's too light? Okay. I don't know. So we're going, you do you, boo. <laughs> well, I mean, I love the pattern, and I like the mm -hmm. way it looks. And it's stitched on the pattern. It's, it's stitched, stitched on a yellow It's something similar to this. Yeah. yeah. So I'm wondering if I should do bust and tea party. Yeah, but that's the beauty of cross stitch. I know. You can do whatever you and desire. Have you ever watched the blue flower do her, her I cross haven't. too? No. She says that when you change things that you're drunk with power. So I think I'm gonna be drunk with power. I love and that. And I am going to <laughs> do it on gray. I'm drunk with power. There you go. So the pink gray. We're oh, very excited oh to have you all join us if you yes, want to join please. us. With we'll the blue flower, blue flower bee sal. Yeah, or... we'll post it on our Instagrams. So the new kid needle minder and berry girl quilts. If you're not already following us, which we got followers from our floss tube, and we were all excited about interacting with you guys. So yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot yeah. of fun. We'll be posting that when we post this. So yeah, Go so join us if you want to March fifth. Yes. All right.
haul. You first. Very minimal. I I very bought. Minimal. Okay. I say very minimal, but like, again, I don't really have a stash. So I bought a lot of DMC on, after our stitchy day in Auburn. I had a couple patterns. Oh, you and Kathy <laughs> were going crazy. Fred, Fred was flying. Fred was flying. <laughs> and we were like, excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> so um, I had 47 and she had, I think, 43. So yep, I you won. I win. <laughs> But, so, I have now enough for two of these guys. This one's not full. But I've just been buying, like, as I do projects. So, or as I, like, buy patterns. And you're keeping all of your floss and all of your fabric and patterns in the app of what app Oh, is yes. I wanted to talk with about this last time, but I didn't. Um, it's the X Stitch Plus app. It says plus, but you don't have to pay for it. So you I don't, don't have to pay for it? Oh, it was $1.99. But it was like a $1.99 one time. Oh, I thought, yeah, yeah no. I thought it was more than that. No. Oh. And that's only if you want to do the inventory part. I think, like, the journal part. Oh, yeah, I want to I do think the design, inventory part. The inventory part is all I use it for, and it's so worth it. So it's the X Stitch Plus app, and I you can go in there, and it has all of the brands of fabric, all of the brands of floss they've got like color and cotton dmc like patterns everything pa patterns i think like, for everything. patterns i would want to use it so i don't yeah. double buy a pattern because yeah. i know people have done that before mm -hmm. forget that you bought it or had it already mm -hmm. or yeah so i have been using the x stitch plus app for my dmc but that's just my dmc mm -hmm. and i've already become obsessed with it because then i can just look in the like if i have a pattern i can just look oh yep i've got that i only need to buy this you mm -hmm. know so that way i'm not buying too many dmcs but yeah, I bought 47 DMC at Hobby Lobby. So that's one of my haul, but that's our, I've already bobbinated it all. I've already done all that jazz. Mm -hmm. um, my next haul, this, I technically bought it before our last floss tube, but I forgot to bring it up. It's a cross stitch for the soul book, and it ha is by Emma Cong Congdon. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Um but it's got 20 designs in here and I love them all. They're very, I thought there was a page. Yeah, there's a page that shows them all. So this is like a sneak preview of all of them, but they're just like cute little Same. sayings. And I love this one. It's like the best view is after the hardest climb and no act of kindness, however small is ever wasted. Like, like all inspirational just very, stuff. I love it. And I've wanted to try to do something on a dark Ada because everybody's like, Stitching on dark fabrics, a whole breed, different breed. Like. I tried to do a dark blue. Yeah. And it was, and it was 14 count. Yeah. And it was challenging. I But I wanted, I'm up for the challenge. <laughs> Another piece of haul, my Otlight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got an Otlight because um, my, we talked about this last time that you don't like stitching here because my lighting is bad in my living Her room. Her lighting was horrible. Yeah. So I got an Otlight and it has lighting and a magnifier. So I've been really enjoying that. Which I didn't know about a magnifier, like if I would like a magnifier or not. And, and then she tried. Like she literally just put her hand under it and was like, whoa. Yep, I'm, I'm buying that. <laughs> so then I bought one. <laughs> the same exact one. Uh, the same exact yeah. one. So I like my outlay. And I think that would help for a dark <laughs> mm -hmm. fabric. So I'm going to maybe do a, uh, nothing's really small. I bought this because I thought they were smalls, but they're not really smalls. Like this one that I, random one that I scrolled to, 130 by 198. So like can't be as small like I want right. it to be, but whatever. Um, the next piece of haul, I guess I could talk about this now because I've bought so many Q-snaps. I'm a Q-snap, W word. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Nancy, who we met at our Stitchy Day in Auburn, came with a rectangular Q-snap. And I looked at her and I said, where did you find that? She goes, I just put two of them together. Like, it was obvious. I'm like, duh, why would you not? So now I'm obsessed, and I do this with all of them. So uh, this is an 11, uh, eight, by, 8 inch by 11 inch Q-snap, and you just Franken-snap them together. Franken-snap. Franken-snaps is what we've been calling them. <laughs> so, but I will say, if you're going to do this from home, you have to have two from the same brand. Because I had two originally that I tried to put together, but one was from, like, the Hobby Lobby brand and one was from the Michaels brand. One of them had four prongs on the inside and the other one had six. So you have to buy two from the same brand, but that's fine. So I think I want to get a 14-inch and do, like, oh, yeah. a 14 by 11 for, like, a bigger project. Uh -huh. I mean, I don't have a bigger project yet, but, like, 
for future. So fun tip at home, you can make Franken Q snaps. I feel like that's obvious, but to me it was life changing. Um, next piece of haul are from Adam Hart Cross Stitch, and they're the thread chips that I was talking about earlier with my um, Wizard of Oz. I just made a mess of that. But I don't know if it's resin. I don't know what this type of material is that she makes it out of. Acrylic, I think. Isn't oh, it? yeah, that would make sense. Nothing's focusing. There we go. So it comes with these stickers that you can put on there and type, uh, like, write your DMC number, whatever. Um, I saw somebody on Instagram put the symbol number or like the symbol oh, yeah. of what, and I was like, that's genius. So you can put your thread here and then this little side piece is good for your loose thread. Here, I'll find one that. So like I had like a piece that is still usable. So you put it on the side here. Very genius. And she has all sorts of shapes, sizes, colors, colors. Like there's one that's a heart. That's really cute. Um, but this one is the Milky Way color and like one side is not sparkly and then the other side is very sparkly. So I love these. I will be buying more. I bought 50 of them cause I was like, oh, I'll just, I want to try it. I don't want to go crazy and I will be buying more <laughs> because <laughs> I love them and it's the best like way to store it off, Yeah, I think. Yeah. So that's my haul. Oh, I could talk about Missy and how great, what, grateful I am to her. She came to our Auburn Stitchy Day and had two Hannaford bags full of, one was full of patterns and one was full of fabric. And she was like, Emma, this is yours. <laughs> I was like, oh, hallelujah. <laughs> I was so grateful. But, um, because she doesn't really stitch on 16 count anymore yeah. either. So, and some of them are just like little scrap pieces of thread. I don't they're care. Great for I'll take it. They're great for a small. Yeah. So I took this pattern. This is just one that I took. Pumpkin spice and everything nice. So cute. Very cute little small. I love pumpkin spice lattes. So I snagged that one. And then I've got, I won't show them all, but literally a whole Hannaford bag full of fabrics. And I mean, like some good ones. Like that um, fabric that I'm stitching my Wizard of Oz one is from. The Stitch Me. The yeah. Stitch Me is from her. And I love the way she was storing these on the comic book boards yeah. I know genius so I've got all sorts of paranormal like look at how cool that is I mean like I could I could keep going there's <laughs> so many and I'm so grateful and I'm so excited to use these that was super yeah. super sweet oh I forgot about this I'm gonna include this but look at how tiny this little frame is so <laughs> Emma's a monster right now every time we go shopping <laughs> She's like, oh, we, I could finish something on that. Or, everything is a finishing everything's opportunity. Everything's a finish now. It's like, wow. So I saw this, and it's a three inch by three inch on the inside. And I was like, how cute would that super be? Super tiny, small. But that would be so cute. It would be so cute. And I have a pattern that is like little snowmen. And I thought it would be so cute in this That would be frame. with a blue fabric in the back. That's what yeah. I'm so I'm excited. I'm excited. Also, I got this today at the... Oops. At the Christmas tree shop, these are just placemats, but everybody was saying once you use your Q-saps more, they become loose and they don't hold the tension of your fabric anymore. So I got these, like, To cut rubber? and stick in them. What is It's like a rubber mat. Yeah, it's, but they're, like, thin and stick it in between. And it was a four-pack for three bucks, and I could, there's a lot in here, so. You have a lot of cutting you can do. I can use a lot. Did you want to show your bags? And I have a haul in here too. You have a haul in there too? Well, technically. Wow. Technically, that's it's not a hidden gem. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, because I was poo pooing you on all your haul. <laughs> Fanciful thing I was going to be like, I yeah. knew it'd come around. I knew you'd do it. <laughs> Welcome so, to the dark side. <laughs> yeah. Um, this isn't technically haul because it was something that you had, but I acquired. So it's haul to me. <laughs> um, this is gonna be my next start. Depends on when I finish. Oh, this is not yours to keep though. Well, no, I'm yeah, gonna okay. give it back to you. <laughs> but, well, that's why I was saying like, it's hauled to me, but not really. Like, yeah. And it's um, Flea Market Flowers by Lori Holt. If I can get it out of this bag. Sorry, I should've done this first, but I forgot about it. Um, look at that gorgeous! I love her. A cute little spring. And I just, I've already got the, the colors all on this little floss droppy thing. 
and I'm obsessed and I love her. And after our stitchy day in Auburn, we went to Joanne's and Hobby Lobby. Yeah. Because Joanne's was having. I'll do this. Yeah, you. thank you. <laughs> and they were having a sale. So I got more fabric for mom to make me project bags. <laughs> and so she made me this one, which she does not like the fabric. I think it's so cute. I mean, not your cup of tea. Don't yuck other people's yum. Yeah. And then <laughs> just this plain teal on the inside, but I thought it was so cute. And I've got the teal zipper to boot. To boot. To boot. So I've got that one. And then my Harry Potter bag. Look at how cute this fabric is. I'm obsessed with it. So I don't have anything in here yet, but. Oh, I'm sure that'll sleeve. change. Oh, there you go. You're sleeping. Babe. And then it's just white polka dots on the inside, but. Very exciting. Oh. I love my project bags. Your turn. For haul. Well, let me get started. <laughs> and I will not poo poo your <laughs> Do haul not anymore. Poo -poo my haul. So, first things first is Emma bought this. This was part of Emma's haul. But I decided and I didn't And she want decided it. to go. Oh, it's, it's definitely not focusing. Yeah, but everybody knows what the Book of Days looks like. Yeah, so it's the Book of Days. I've never had a Book of Days. I've just used a regular journal. But I'm kind of excited about using it. Um, oh, you where know, am I bound? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bind it. Oh. I don't care. Oh if okay. it's bound or not. That's one of the things she thought it came bound. And yeah, I did. She didn't realize that they were that everybody was having it done. Yeah, I thought that it just came like that. Yeah, so she's gonna do her journal on good notes. Which I can show you. I'll insert a little like I don't know bear with me here, because I don't know if I can do this, but it's it was on Etsy. And I don't think you can insert like a screen. Unless it has it on the, her Etsy page. If oh. it has the thing, I wouldn't insert like what the PDF looks oh. like just because you bought it. I could, yeah, I won't do so that. So don't do that. But, but it's, um, it's a very cool, it was $1.68 on Etsy. So I can put the link in our show. I'm going to try to be better about our show notes and putting things in there. We definitely have to be better on our show notes. Yes. So I'm going to put that link in there and it's like a clickable journal. You, it has tabs on the side for the months. And it has in there, it has a calendar page. It has weeks page with like blocks for each day of the week. And then it has a budget page, which is I'm, I'm going to write down all of my cross stitch, cross -stitch budget. budget. Um, <laughs> which is not a budget. It's, it's not a budget. Like it's a... just going to be what I spent. <laughs> like, I don't care. So, and then it has like, I mean, it's got everything. This is, I think I technically searched for bullet journal, um, PDF or insert template. I don't remember exactly what I searched. But it's got like a mood tracker. Like it's got so many things in there like if you wanted to. But then you also supplemented it with I a cross stitch it. tracker. Yes, I found a cross stitch tracker PDF that I'm obsessed with that has like a whole bunch of different pages of different types of progress trackers. So, and also the bullet journal one that I got came undated so I could use this for the rest of my life for $1.68. More for that. But the cross stitch one that I got, um, that was I think three or four dollars. One but. of the I I might get that too because one of the layouts that I really liked was it had a a, a project page, mm -hmm. but then it had like all your fabric, all your floss. If you made yep. substitutions, when you started it, when you finished it, and then it had a little spot where you can insert a picture. And yeah. like I think in my book of days or something, I'm gonna start taking pictures yep. of my finished pieces yeah. because especially if I give it away or something yeah you know I I want to have I want to have back things away <laughs> um well okay so that uh <laughs> more bunny more chocolate life needs more chocolate bunnies I was like oh I I could do that for a um a stitch swap or something I've got a couple of retreats we're going to mm -hmm. I'll do that as a swap and then I'm like it's too stinking cute I want to keep it all <laughs> You should show what you're going to finish it on. I will when I get oh, there. Okay. I, was, well, I have a pile and a, yeah. I don't want to topple it all over. So, oh yeah, it is on the bottom. Yeah, <laughs> it's on the bottom of my pile. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have already seen the Cedar River linens, but she has Ada. And when Brendan, the cereal starter, showed this on their floss tube, I drooled. And I was like... I, I have enough lint. I have enough fabric. I don't need more fabric. I needed this fabric. This is I yeah, I know. Well, you were like, you have too much fabric oh, yeah. last time. I have taken this back is, every word I say. About I know. Her. Eat your words. <laughs> this is overcast and it's 20 count. 
and it is beautiful. And these are all, it's almost peachy. It's, it's just, I, like I it. love it. I like and it I don't think there's anything that couldn't go on this mm -hmm. to, uh, to be stitched. Excuse me. Um, <laughs> it was so almost there. It's 20 count. But it's not a, it's not, yeah. but what I like about her linen is that some, I'm an in-hand stitcher and some linens are too soft. I can't, mm. I can't hold them enough. And hers is, it's not rough, but it's just enough that I, I know I'm oh, going to like. Oh, that's nice. I'm going to like stitching It's like the on perfect. This. It is. Yeah. It's perfect texture. It really is. It's not too soft. And it, I mean, you can just feel that it's. It's High good, quality. and I I love it, and I will probably get more. But Do you have a project in mind for it? Um, I hope this isn't one of the ones that I hoard because I love it so much, and I don't want to stitch anything <laughs> on it. But um, I also got the Tefra Tefra. Um, oh, I like that is, she puts a little tag on it. I do. Too. Most people label yeah. their linens like well, they'll I've, have a sticker or whatever. Yeah, but I like the tag. I do of too. Sticker. Yeah. yeah. So um. She, this is Tefra, and it's it, this is another one. I I think that I could stitch anything on this, and mm -hmm. it would look beautiful. That's very nice, a neutral. And she gave you these little gave things, you. gave me, yeah. <laughs> and she wrote me a note that said thank you, Brandy, Aww. which I mean, this is what I love about small businesses is like I, they put effort and like they care. And look at the the little wrapping that has her logo on it. I mean, when I opened this, it was like. I know it was a delightful delivery. <laughs> we love running with scissors. Their floss tube is hilarious. Julia, Jane, and, and Julie. Uh, Jane and running Julie. Running with scissors oh, with Jane and Julie. They crack me up. They are. <laughs> she is hysterical. I love her. But anyway, so that was my delightful delivery, and that really was like getting a present. Yeah, you know. That, so that's how I felt about my Adam Hart. Yeah. Adam Hart cross stitch. It was like. So if you can shop small business, mm -hmm, shop sure. small if you can, because it's, it's worth it. And you're, these people are putting thought and effort yeah. into your. And they appreciate you so much. Yeah. yeah. And, and I felt that way when mm -hmm. I got that package, it was beautiful. So, and I think a lot of people have said that too. Yeah. So I <laughs> was not She's going to buy patterns because my husband made a comment. Oh, we have to see. My husband made a comment about how many patterns I had and how long it would take to stitch 10 a year. No. So <laughs> she counted them and then she Don't told, say my number. I'm going to say your number. No, you're not. But we have to to tell that story. No, we don't. Then we're not telling the story. Okay. No, we have to tell the story. <laughs> so we were at our stitchy day, whatever. Yesterday. And yesterday. And Shirley, our friend Shirley, she's made by S. Made by S F B. S D F. <laughs> uh, we're gonna insert it. Here. Insert it if I can figure out if how to she text. Lets us. <laughs> oh, we will text her first. Yes. yes. Um, but she. She is, is amazing. Wow. Uh, wow. Like the craftiest of crafty. The craftiest of crafty. Like but, I am not worthy. <laughs> <laughs> I look at her Instagram and I'm like, oh. wow. Yeah. So anyways, we were talking about our number and mom was like, that's like saying how many people you've slept with. Like you can't tell people my number. And I'm like, I'm sure people have way more than you. So I said the number and Shirley looks at her, use S word. <laughs> it was way funnier. It was it, hilarious. We all and cackled and I snorted. I was dying. It was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, I was like, I got to stop buying patterns because I'm never, I, every pattern I have, I want to stitch. I don't have well, a pattern gonna that be able to if I'm buying. never going to be able to stitch all of this. I, I will. I mean, I finish things fairly quickly. You do. So I, and I don't know. a lot of your things my are husband, smalls. Yeah. My husband said, if you stitch 10 of these a year, it would take X amount of years. We don't I need to say, say my it. number. It's not We're not bad. saying it's not that bad, but nobody needs to know. And like I said, it's like how many people you've slept with. I don't it's think Nobody's so. business how many patterns I have. <laughs> so anyway, we went to the Stitchy Day in Auburn and Sam had this mm -hmm. and I just fell in love. I hadn't ever seen it. And it's not even a pattern that I would be like, you know, drawn towards, drawn her. towards, but looking at her stitching of this, this is stunning. 
It's called The Ladies Who Lunch by Fox and Rabbit. And her, it was, it's just beautiful. It's Looking gorgeous. at it, stitch is, is so beautiful. And I like the reds and pinks. It's, and it's, it's gorgeous. Her stitching was so beautiful. And you said, so you saw someone that just did one ladybug. Right? No, there's a pattern oh. by her that just has one ladybug. Yeah, and like there's another bit. one that has a bee with a crown. It's, oh, cute. Uh, she has some cute ones. Yeah. But I've never stitched a fox and rabbit, but I love it. So for Valentine's Day, my husband, who told me I had too many patterns, <laughs> bought me patterns for Valentine's Day, which from is from her one, two, three stitch wish list. From my wish list, oh, which is awesome. So this is the night walked down. By Blue Flower. Very cute. Look at that white peacock. Very I mean, cute. I love her designs. She's just, she's just an artist, which is beautiful. And then I was on the fancy lady kick. And this is another, this is a Mirabilia, but it's by Nora Corbett. And it's called the Halloween Fairy. And it's very, it's small. It's seven by, uh, Oh, it's tiny. tiny. It's six and three quarters by seven and a quarter. Like it's not by what? 106. 106 by 120. So bad. It's not, it's st stitch not a 16. So it's definitely doable. So another story about my haul is after I bought all of the peppermint lane patterns, I went on happy little stitch shop and they were having the pumpkin lane patterns by Pansy Patch. And you could do it as a block of the month. It was a stitch along. And every month they'll give you the pattern and they'll give you all the fabric and the floss and everything to, so I joined. Because <laughs> why not? Because <laughs> why not? And it's stinking cute. This is the pumpkin house. So this is the first one that I get. And for the next nine months, I'm gonna get a pattern every month. And oh, I like the way they do their symbols. You can't show the chart, but that's it's I all like in color. You can show the symbols on the back. Oh, yeah, I can. <laughs> so, all the pattern is in color, too. I like, I prefer a colored pattern, yeah, to a black and white. So, I got the floss kit and I got some popover legacy fiber art. And that all came in the monthly thing, yes. And Good if deal. you are, so this is enough for the whole series though. Oh. The next few ones that I'll get it will just, just be pattern. pattern. Yeah. But that makes sense though. if you're looking for some legacy fiber art, you need to stop at the Happy Little Stitch Shop because she has a good selection of it. Oh, what was the website we were on last night? Um, uh, Treehouse Knits. Yeah. It was thknits.com and yep. they had quite a good, they had that covered bridge because I was like, I need to buy you a a piece because I feel so bad after you ruined my covered but bridge. I said, like, you could do a. It's I not like it's small, not, it's not usable. It's not unusable. It's just a ten by ten piece. Sorry. And then, um, Kathy, um, from Two Needles Bowling Thread. Both of them. Both they of both them showed them. me this at our Stitch Day in Farmington, and of course I needed to get one because it holds your charts and. I stick a magnet up here and I stick my scissors on top of it and my needle and it just and her floss ring. Yep. And so I have magnet. everything and it's it Travels before well. when I was stitching at a retreat or whatever, I was like leaning down and, and looking at it that. and now it now I can Propped look at up. it. Yeah. Popped up. So we also went to Hobby Lobby and I bought what some of these. They're called tail end weavers. And it's for when you lose thread chicken. When you lose that thread chicken. I need some of these. I got you one. So one of these is for you because you like to play thread chicken. I love playing thread chicken. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite part. I've never used one before, but I figured that you could just, so you stick it through the thing and you pull through. It's a little hard. So cute. So then another thing I got so excited. was a whole bag of these little um, scissor sheaths mm -hmm. because Emma stuck her scissors in the oh, bag. And it ruined one of my stitches. And it ripped out one of her stitches. No so way, but it's like fuzzy now. Yeah, yeah, so it cut it a little. So I got a whole bag of these for like $10. 
So three of these are yours. You can pick the colors that oh you want. Oh my gosh! I love doing this. I get presents. <laughs> <laughs> and then, I love these scissors. Oh my goodness. These are the tiniest scissors ever. Can you I take love them. off and show how tiny yeah. the blade is? Oh, and, <laughs> and they cut so very well. I've got a set of these from uh, uh, Stitch Main. Oh. But I got this set from Amazon. Yeah. Only the green one's yours, though. Because the I rest like are the mine. Pink one. Well, no, I'm you just know, kidding. I'll be happy have... with anything. <laughs> I already so... have that. Oh, they're like. Yeah, they come with their own little scissor sheath. So. Well, I like the. I thought they were hard plastic, but oh, this is no, like a silicone. rubbery. Yeah. Oh, silicone. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So there you go. All my goodies. You got some goodies. Thanks, Matt. You're welcome. So I am part of um, Stitch New England's uh, thread. Mm, right um, of the month. Red whatever, club. Yeah. So <gasps> she sent it, all the fancy flosses. I love these. She sent an email out. I had just gotten my fancy floss from January like a couple weeks ago. She sent an email out saying that she was going to Nashville Market and that she didn't think that she'd be able to get the thread of the month club out early. But she got mine. I got it Saturday. So this is January's. And oops. She... Here. Mm -hmm. She does it alphabetically. So uh, right now we are on G. Look at that lilac. That's so pretty in this color. So I'm trying to convince Emma to do. I don't want to venture down the fancy floss lane because then I'm going to get addicted. <laughs> and I just know that about myself. I know, but like I said, you pick a pattern and you say, like the red and that ladybug. Yeah. I want that red and that ladybug not to be in DMC. I want it to be variegated. So I'm going to pick a pretty red that will show variegation. Oh, it's just so cute. But, I mean, I find it, it's like a little treat every month, which I love. And, you know, I like the classic color works ones. I think if Ooh, I... Look at that golden star I know, right? It's so cute. Are you gonna fall down the floss? Fancy floss. Mm-hmm. Fancy, fancy. I shouldn't for my wallet, but I might for my soul. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I said. Oh, what was it that uh, Jane said? My debit card's gonna go on fire or something. <laughs> She's so burst into flames. Burst into flames. My debit card's gonna burst into flames. <laughs> That's how I feel. <laughs> well, but like I said on your sleeping bee you're like that silver i really so, so just buy that one, one. you yeah. know i mean it's all about restraint i don't have that <laughs> what is self-control me either because i still have some more haul to go through <laughs> so emma wanted to go to michael's and i'm like okay i'll go to michael's with you and we had just got done stitching with shirley mm -hmm. and she had talked about her boxes and i i had seen her boxes that she had finished and I was like, cute. I want to find a box. So I found this at Michael's. It was unfinished. Unfinished. <laughs> it was $10, I think. It's, I want to oh, make a stitchy boy. box. So she's going to put a stitch where this, yep, this is. You know yep. what I think I'm going to stitch is that little bird that says counting is far, hard by Luminous uh, Fiber Arts. Because then you can put your And I'm going to put yeah. all my little accoutrements, like little needle minders or you love scissors or accoutrements. <laughs> you say and it then, very often. And then I have a little drawer, and I'm going to paint it. You could put inserts in that little drawer, too, I if you want to do more. whatever I want. So I'm going to make a stitchy box out of this. And then I had been watching um, Teresa Kogut, and she was talking about how she loves to finish on just old books. And I was like, yeah, that, I mean, that's a cool idea or whatever, but this is a book box. So it's a box, but you could leave it, it like, like a, a book. book. And with a stitch on it, and you can paint it whatever color you want. I think this is eight dollars at Michaels. But I think there was a sale on wood finish. Wasn't there a sale on wood finishes? Yeah, or it was yeah. like there was twenty percent off or something like that. So you know, it wasn't too bad. And then get your, Emma, get your life needs more chocolate bunny so we can see if it fits. Okay. Yes. We went to Target today after we went wedding dress shopping. Yes. And well, you have to stop at the dollar stop spot. And look at this. Oh, it'll fit. You think so? Yeah, you just have to fold it. For her life needs more chocolate. How cute would this be for a small swap? 
it's not gonna be it's gonna be from me <laughs> but on the egg <laughs> it, you're never gonna be able to get it <laughs> <laughs> but how cute i mean come on it's adorable it's, yeah, it's perfect it it's it's gonna fit and it's gonna be really cute and that's gonna be an easy finish yeah but i think i do need some ribbon for the top Oh, put a little, a little bow, a bow on, the on the top, like a green and white polka dot or something. Or like a light pastel pinky, because mm -hmm. you have the pink and the yep. more. Something. I'm going to put something on it, so I've got to stop buying finishing stuff. Because you never FFO. Because I'm not an FFOer. Should we <laughs> Should we make a goal to have one FFO for our next law student? Can we do it? I was going to try to do next weekend, like one day. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Have an FFO well, I, day. I don't have any projects to Well, I'll have that. You can come FFO done. mine. I wouldn't let you. <laughs> Offended. <clears throat> so my sister um, has a cricket. And she's very into her cricket craft. She she's is really good. pretty cool. Like yeah. she does like some shadow box things where she gets a shadow box and fills it with different things. She, yeah. And she did everybody one for Christmas. All yeah. She has seven kids. So she did each kid a different one for a theme. Like one, she did an up theme. With little, little balloons. It was. So it was so adorable. So I like the Jack Skellington one. Yep. I mean, she just all, so all different things. And Apparently, my whole family were all Disney adults, you yeah, know, we so are. she made me this sign that says Brandy's Sewing Room out of the mice from uh, Cinderella. 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 Because Cinderella. on my sewing machine, I have little shadows of these mice all over my sewing machine. So it's I, it means a lot and I love it. So there you go. That's my haul. That's our haul. It wasn't too bad. No, we have more stitchy days coming up. Yes, we. I seriously love stitchy. I days. told Emma, I was like, we can't do a stitchy day every day. She told weekend. me we have to stop hanging out so that we can have things to talk about on our last two. Look, I we're said, at an hour and six minutes. I said, aren't you sick of me yet? No. Uh, we've been hanging oh. out every week. We've gone to a stitchy day every weekend, every and I spent the night here on Friday night, and spent all day with you on Saturday stitching. And we went wedding dress shopping today. Like, I'm like, I think you've had enough of me. I haven't. I think that's her saying she's had enough of me because I'm good. <laughs> I have to sh show how I store my art. <laughs> this is shameful. I'm like, you can at least decorate this. Okay. She brings Listen. this to events Listen. to show. <laughs> I don't bring it to show. I bring it for my art. I want to do, I don't know if you guys have seen, but people will put, keep all their orts for the year and then they'll put it in a clear like plastic ball ornament and put the year on it. I want to do that. So I'm keeping my orts. I've got a Tostitos jar of all my orts and my mom is embarrassed of it. She was like, at least take the sticker off and decorate. No, <laughs> it's just a Tostitos jar. I don't even a have A Tostitos cover. jar full of trash. Oh, it's not <laughs> trash. It's going to make a cute ornament. Okay. It's going to be like my first year of Don't stitching. Don't yuck other people's yums. Yeah, mom. I know. I'm trying to live that life. You're Don't. not doing good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wonder where kidding. you get it from. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Are we going to talk about our plans? Sure. Oh, we need to talk about the National Market. We will, but uh, what you should do our plans first. I don't have any. I'm just going to keep stitching. Just keep stitching? You don't have a start? Well, our Sal. Our Sal. And, and our flea market. She's, so you're Flowers. going to do... The Blue Flower Sleeping Bee. Blue Flower Sleeping Bee and Flea Market Flowers by Lori Holt are going to be my two starts of March. Yep. In March, I'm going to do the Blue Flower Bee, and mm -hmm. I am going to finish For the Love of Nature. She will do it. I need to finish it. That's my focus piece for mm -hmm. March is For the Love of Nature. I'm going to start Blue Flower Bees. I don't know. What, sometimes when I get on things, I can't stop. Like I said, it, that's how I feel. Like, I'm a monostitcher at heart. Like, I just... I want to see stop. it finished. <laughs> but I need to finish that you need for, to love finish that for love of nature. Do you I'm know how so you're going to finish that? Are you going to frame that? I'm going to have it for, I think yeah. I'm going to have it professionally, professionally framed. Done. Yeah. That would be a good Most one. of the time, I've, I've never had anything professionally framed because I'm afraid of the price. I, I don't even know where to begin as to how much it costs. I'm sure it's 
hundreds of dollars i don't know because like know even yet. looking at some frames that you can have custom ordered but they're a hundred dollars like at hobby lobby or michael's or something that yeah. would be cheaper than like sending it away i know but even with a 70 percent off coupon it's still really expensive you know so yeah, that piece is worth it no i i totally agree mm -hmm. i totally agree but so that's our plans for march yeah. i have two starts and i'm probably gonna end up starting that Lori holt thing before march because um i'm so close with done with my well I shouldn't. I should work on bushel and a pack and my other stuff more. I just like starting. I was it's talking. Fun. I was talking with Missy. Part of it is the kidding. I love, I love kidding. to pick my fabric. Jane said she hates kidding. I love. I know picking it up. She calls it. Yeah. <laughs> but I love to kit. Kidding is that's, fun. That's my favorite part, and especially with fancy floss, because when oh, you. Yeah. Put when you together. switch colors and stuff, mm -hmm. I love to like play with color and whatever. So drunk with power. I get drunk with power. <laughs> I love that saying. So anyway, I I love to kit and um, for mania. So a lot of people are doing March Madness, which is oh, I was like, what's mania? Why oh. are you mania? Like <laughs> right. that's what I was thinking of. Like, this what? month for March, people March do Madness. the March Madness, and for they stitching, will do not basketball. They will do a new start every day. Can you imagine? Or a, I don't have the time. B then I'd have thirty-one whips. Yeah, or they do brackets. <laughs> you know, like that would be cool. This one and this one, and then they'll post it on their into Instagram Someone to see it. who the next one cool. is. And so, like, some of them are starts and some of them are whips. It's not all starts. Yeah. But, like, for Mania, some people for 31 days start a new project. Wait, I thought May had 30 days. 30 days has September, April, June. No, I was wrong. <coughs> Bless you. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, for May, that's my birthday month, I think I'm going to participate in Mania. I'm not doing 31 I starts. was just going to say... <laughs> Look at your face. You can't help with the judgment. She I'm just about had a stroke. <laughs> you can't help with the judgment. Start, okay, but 31 starts is a lot. And you can't even laugh. Like, I don't have enough lot. whips. I'm, no. I'm coming to realize that I do not have enough whips. Yeah. We need to start <laughs> doing start more, more things. Yeah. I only let myself have enough projects for the amount of project bags I have. And I only have one, two, three, four five project bags so i can only have five projects no oh, you'll have to rectify that situation that means you have to buy make me more project bags. i told you next time you want one you have to cut it out and Which, i'll sew it i can cut fabric that's fine yeah yeah it'll be easier so are you going to be able to remember your nashville picks i know it's on my phone we need to pause i'm gonna grab my ipad you can keep talking it's right okay. in the room <laughs> So we have um, done a top five of our Nashville picks um, that have been released so far. Okie dokie. And you're going to insert pictures of all of them, mm -hmm. correct? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to? <gasps> I just got a picture of my wedding. <laughs> so I saw it. I'm... <laughs> so cute. Okay. Who's going first? I think we can flip flop. Okay. So you can go ahead and go first. Okay. I'm going to start with the Morning Glory by Morning Glory Manor by Shannon Christine. You know what? I'm going into my Etsy app. I'm just going to make sure because I don't want to screw this up. I know. It, that's nerve-wracking when you... Uh, give this person the wrong credit. And right. Like, I, th I do believe it is by Shannon Christine. I just want to make sure. And this isn't Emma's style at all. No! But I, it is. The colors are... The colors are my style. Stunning in this. And... Morning Glory is, there's a couple birth flowers of September, but I was born in September, and that's one of the birth flowers of September. Yeah. Is a Morning Glory. I can't click on it. Oh, there it goes. Um, yeah, I'm not a sampler gal, so I probably won't do the letters at the bottom, or I might chart it to say, like, the Holtz, I think would be cute, because that's going to be my future last name established in or well, whatever and then it has or, yeah a date at the top so it's i think of just beautiful so you're gonna insert it. a picture i'll insert a picture and i just love the colors and the archway oh it's just so pretty totally not my style so like i said earlier but something about that one love it <laughs> so the annie b's um three easters that is cute with the bunnies the hip-hop and the um the little bunny with a scarf. How cute. I want that 
that's what I can stitch on the piece of covered bridge that you ruined for me. <laughs> it's not <But> ruined. <laughs> I I love that those little bunnies. They're so adorable and they're cute. I don't know that I'll do the bloom. I'm not just a word yeah. just a word person, but I I like that. So that's one of my picks. Did you say who it was by? Uh, Annie B's. Oh, yeah. Bogart. Yeah. yeah. We watched their floss tube when yes. they announced it. Yes. Um, my next one is another sampler. Who Shocker. Am I? Who are you? <laughs> but I, again, I like the colors of this. I really like it. It's the farmhouse it's sampler. It's so cute. By Erin Elizabeth Designs. I like the little sheepy. And I like how big the house is. Mm -hmm. Like, it's like just it like dream farmhouse it's yeah. got like a front porch and just the white picket gorgeous. fence yeah and it's cute so again probably won't stitch the letters and i might just move that bottom board i up. do actually like the alphabet in that though i like the style of the letters so i, I might too. keep that chart and like if i want to put change it or whatever or yeah like a put word. words into another chart mm -hmm. or something but i really like that one so my next one is Home Sweet Home by mm. Brenda Gervais. She I can have, do no wrong. <laughs> she can do no wrong. I love her. I want all of her patterns, everything. I mean, I would even stitch the robins and the bunnies. I, yeah. I just, the robin couple. Hilarious. Cute. They're so cute. Yeah. I just, I love all her stuff. So I already have Be Thankful and the um, good, Joy and Good Cheer. So I have to have this. Like, have to. Have to. So that's my next pick. My next pick is another Shannon Christine. And um, this is very Easter and bright. I love bright colors. It's um, Easter Bunny. I think that's just the name of it. Shannon Christine Easter Bunny. But it's adorable. The, I love the little Easter eggs. The eggs and the flowers. Yeah. Like Totes that dwarves. for Fancy Floss for some of those blues and pinks. Here she goes on Fancy Floss again. I'm just saying. <laughs> Yeah. I'm just saying. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Very pretty. So I just got done stitching the Strawberry Fair. And of course, October uh, House Fiber Arts came out with the Honey Fair. And we all we know. I just finished the Strawberry Fair. I just finished the Strawberry Fair. So I, I need the Honey Fair. It's a collection. It can't be separated. <laughs> that would be, that would be crazy. <laughs> So my next one is by Luminous Fiber Arts, and it's Hop, Peep, Leap, and it's just adorable. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, that little chick chick is it, so and cute. You could almost stitch those to be three separate little pillows. I thought about doing that. I don't have a tiered shelf because, again, 600 square foot apartment. You're pretty much looking at my whole apartment. I've but got my bedroom over here. Dobo, dobo. A dobo. A dobo <laughs> on your table. I could. With little pillows. Yeah, but I just... They're they are so cute. cute. They're oh, adorable. I didn't even realize the little robin in that one. Oh, see? So cute. Just the more you look at it. So my next one is Teresa Kogut, uh, Remember Me. I just love the sentiment of this. It says, mm -hmm. when this you see, remember me. All the birds and the house and the beautiful flowers. It's just, it's absolutely, stunning. it's stunning. And that house is gorgeous. And, but this is a beast to stitch I think and a it's lot of dense stitching a lot of Teresa Kogut's that I like like let love rain uh all of them are just the Halloween sampler mm. have you seen that with the cats think, marching oh yeah the, oh yeah. I love it so cute but I'm like I don't think I could do that so <laughs> I thought about just doing the cats and doing a drum with oh, just the cats cute. But my friend Diane is stitching the whole thing. And she's like, I love it all. Yeah. Why would I not stitch it? Like, mm -hmm. And I'm like, you're right. Why would I not stitch it? Because <laughs> I love it all too. But I haven't started it yet. Okay, my next one is... And I want to do all of these. It's the oh. Tiny Towns. They're so cute. They're awesome. Everybody's been doing that Valentine's Tiny mm -hmm. Town. So it's been all over my Flostagram. And I'm just obsessed with them. And I liked how this one is finished, too. Because a lot of people finish them on a drum. But I don't... Very cute. I'm not yucking other people's yum. But I want to be able to see the whole thing. And on drums, you can only, like, only a little you bit of it. You have to turn it. You have to turn it to, see it. It to yeah. see it all. So I, I like the way this is finished. And I thought about if I do decide to do all of these, 
is like doing the magnet option of mm -hmm. um like was it pants of Falinga that had this on a magnet yeah I think, and thing. so did kathy from two needles full and yeah. red too yeah i like put the magnet a, idea she put hers on a basket i think or mm -hmm. something like oh, that oh yeah, yeah yeah so <laughs> this is um a, a honey of tiny town yeah a honey of tiny town by heart and hand by heart and hand yes yeah, all of her tiny towns are cute. I, I love all of your, every single one of them. I have the uh, patriotic one. one. I, that's the only one that I have, but I do I do like them all. Mm -hmm. They're very cute. And my last one is Jeanette Douglas, um, Chubby Bunny, because he's Cause chubby duh. and cute. Did you ever do the Chubby Bunny challenge? No. <laughs> it was like in like 2011 or whatever. You put a bunch of marshmallows in your mouth, and then you'd say Chubby Bunny each time you put another marshmallow. And Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that know. sounds fun. Um, <laughs> it was not. You were shoving marshmallows in your mouth. But there are some people that have not announced their... I know, they're still coming out. ...their releases because I think the 24th is the cutoff, so that's next weekend. Yes, yeah, so and there's still So there's five still days. a whole nother week. Um, Hands-on design. I love all of her stuff. And she's got one that she sneak peeked about a polar bear. <gasps> I yeah, it looks stinking cute. And then um, uh, Plum Street hasn't announced, mm -hmm. and uh, there's a few others, so they, I'm sure there's more coming out. So. There'll be more. There's yeah. always more. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, but I'm going to try to show some restraint. I say that, and then next time you'll see all the patterns that I own, so... Yeah, next plus two we'll have a haul from all this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> I am. I'm making no qualms about it. I am buying yeah. that home sweet home pattern. Well, you have the joy. You, I have you to ha buy it. You have. That's a given. Yes. <laughs> so, that's yeah. an add to cart. Ding. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, we hope you join us on our sal. Yes, and I so. think at the end, are you gonna post some pictures of your dresses? I was going to just insert the one when we talked about it. Okay. Yeah. I'm not going to show the ones that we got. Right. Because, duh. Yeah, you can't do that. <laughs> but we tried on, what, six dresses? Seven, maybe? Yeah. The third one that I tried on was the one. Yeah. I thought the second one. Okay. The second one, she started to cry. I started to cry, but the dress fit me literally perfectly. It did. Like, it was made for my body type. Mm -hmm. Like, it just fit me perfectly, but... Just something about it. Okay, well, now I'll insert the picture here because we're talking about it. But, um... It was plain. It was very plain on the bottom. I... There's nothing wrong... It had pockets. It had pockets. That was tempting. But, like, I just cried. And I think that, like, this was also my first time trying wedding dresses on. And it was like, oh, my God, this is real. Like, wow. <laughs> so, I think I was just, like, overwhelmed with emotion, you know? Yeah. But the third one definitely... The first... The one that I cried in felt more like a prom dress than a bridal mm -hmm. dress. And then when I tried on the one that we got, I was like, I feel like a bride in this. Yeah, like, I it feel. Was, it's beautiful. I love it. Definitely will need to be altered because I think the dress is a size 16. So I'll need it taken in. And, like, the straps were really loose. So, like, yeah. I think it'll be, like, a whole new dress when I get right, it altered. Right, when you try it on again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which is exciting. And I want to try a belt. And my aunt was, like, gave me really good tips. Like, buy a bunch of them on Amazon that you think, and then you just return them. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Yep. Yeah. Sweet. So um, for March, uh, we probably won't post until three or four weeks from now. Um, we said what, like the 18th? I think around weekend. the 18th we'll post again. Uh, we have a stitchy day that I'm going to miss, but then we'll have yeah. a stitchy day that I'll be able to attend. So. We love um, stitchy days. It's like know. a mini retreat. And we went to the library yeah. to do this. Like the public gorgeous, library. Gorgeous, gorgeous spot. I posted a picture of it like in my um on my Instagram. Can my you day. insert it in here too to sure. show? <laughs> because it, the room was beautiful. Yeah, and, and that was, picture doesn't even do it justice. Like it was high the, vaulted ceilings it was, and just the building is gorgeous. Beautiful. So it was it was a really nice spot. I think it will become our regular because we've been looking for like a regular spot. Yeah. And I think we found it. Yep. It was fun. Yeah. A lot of fun. And it's close. You know, it's closer. I live on this street that it's on, so yeah. that's great for me. Very <laughs> convenient. Yeah. Awesome. Well, we will see you next time. Awesome. Thanks. Thank you again yes. so much Thanks. for all the, the positive. I I still, I am 
Blood speechless <laughs> that you all have joined us and, and like our stitching. So we appreciate you. And we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye. Bye.